All right, so Nike and Drake have joined forces yet again to bring relevancy and hype to a rather peculiar and new silhouette. And while we've seen the six god don these sneakers in music videos and courtside at Los Angeles Lakers games, nothing beats seeing these new sneakers up close and personal. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, today's review is on the Nike Hot Step Air Terra in this new triple black colorway. <music> All right, everyone, so welcome back in. I hope all of you are doing well and having a blessed day out there. My name is Chris Young, and whether this is your first time stumbling upon my channel or you are one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch one of my videos. It really means a lot to me. So as I stated in the intro of today's video, today's topic of discussion is Drake's newest signature with Nike, dubbed the Nike Hot Step Air Terra in this triple black colorway. I know that there's been an insane amount of hype surrounding this particular silhouette, so we will give you guys a detailed review. We'll follow it up with sizing recommendations, a little bit of resale predictions, and of course, at the end of the video, we're gonna throw these on feet because I'm pretty sure a lot of you are curious to see what these look like with jeans, shorts, joggers, and even sweatpants. So with all that out of the way, if you enjoy what you see today, leave me a massive thumbs up, comment your opinion on this rather polarizing silhouette, ring that notification bell, and lastly, please be sure to subscribe to the channel because we are embarking on our next big milestone, which is 4,000 subscribers. And with the help of all of you guys watching out there today, we can come that much closer to making that goal come into fruition. So thank you for your continued support. And with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right into the box of these sneakers, guys. The box that these sneakers come in is a multicolored Nike box with gray on one side and then cardboard brown on the other. We also have some Drake branding on this box as well. So we have Nocta branding on one side. And then once we take a look at the other side of the box, it does say AWR, which stands for All Wrongs Reversed. And then on the cardboard brown part of the box, it does say CL signifying Certified Lover. And I really like the details on this box already. So as we take a look at the sizing tag, it does read Hot Step Air Terrace slash Nocta and the official colorway for this sneaker is black, chrome, and bright cactus and the suggested retail was an eyebrow raising $180. And with all the general information out of the way on these sneakers, it's time to go ahead and dive into the sneakers themselves, guys. So getting things started on the toe box, you can see this comprised of this matte black semi-tumbled leather, but also on the toe box, we do have this chrome metallic silver Nike swoosh. The laces that come equipped in this sneaker are a standard black rope lace, but directly underneath this, we have a black mesh tongue. And then at the center fold of the tongue at the very top, we do have a jeweled Nocta logo. The sock liner of these is lined in this dark navy mesh, but once we remove the insole from these, it is done in this pale blue color, but on the heel, we do have Drake's Knock the Branding stamped in white. Making our way back to the outside of this sneaker, we do have this elongated line pattern and found in between this pattern, we have these perforated holes, which also happen to be 3M reflective when you hit these with the flash of your phone. And I think that was a very nice detail that Nike decided to add with this silhouette. More subtle features that can be found on this sneaker is a lateral side Nike swoosh done in chrome, heel chrome plates, as well as a chrome Gore-Tex logo on the heel itself. The midsole of this sneaker is done in this rugged wave-like fashion, and while Nike didn't add any defining features to the lateral side of the midsole, they did surprise us by slapping a plethora of raised Nike swooshes on the medial side, which looks very nice in my opinion. The midsole also encapsulates an airbag unit done in bright cactus, but once we take a look at the bottom of this sneaker and from the research that I did, this outsole was actually inspired by an old Nike model, which is the Nike Air Terra Humara, which we last saw back in 1999, but Drake opts to go with more defining features of his own with his certified lever branding as well as Gore-Tex branding, and this is all surrounded by blue translucent pods as well as great traction on the outsole itself. So great details on this sneaker, and I'm very impressed with my first impressions i really like these and i wouldn't be surprised if i kept these in the personal collection for the foreseeable future 
So when it comes to the sizing and comfortability of the Nike Hot Step Air Terra, I recommend going true to size whether you have narrow feet or wide feet. And after putting this sneaker on for a couple of minutes and seeing how it was outside and inside, I feel like the comfort on these is nothing to really marvel over. If you want a really descriptive comparison, I feel like these are very similar to what Air Max 95s would feel like on foot. Very, very outdated technology, but nonetheless, they're still gonna be comfortable for a couple of hours of wear and I wouldn't worry about any excruciating pain with this silhouette. All right, guys, so this pretty much concludes my review on the Nike Hot Step Air Terra in this triple black colorway. In my opinion, when I first saw this sneaker leak on the internet, I was not a big fan, and personally, I was very underwhelmed. But once I got this sneaker in hand today, needless to say, my opinion changed drastically. I really love the tumbled leather black panels on this sneaker, as well as the chrome hits. I feel like it gives it a very elegant feel, and this is something I think Drake's fans are gonna go crazy over. So if this this is a sneaker that you were on the fence about and hopefully my review did help you come to a conclusion on if you want to pass or cop this sneaker i think that this sneaker for 180 dollars is a great cop however once you look at the current resale prices of this sneaker whether it's the white colorway or the black colorway they are easily fetching over 300 dollars in each size now i don't think this sneaker is worth 300 dollars but like i said 180 is a totally different ballpark and i think for the premium materials you get combined with Drake's uh, tag on this sneaker, I think this is definitely a go for that retail price. So go ahead and sound off down below how you feel about Drake's newest signature with Nike. Were you able to grab a pair on release day or do you look forward to picking this up on the aftermarket? As always, I will be sure to leave a direct link to GOAT or StockX if you want to pick up this particular sneaker. And let me know which one you think is better, the black pair or the white pair. Personally, I think the white pair reminds me too much of like a early 2000s K-Swiss, but the black pair, in my opinion, does have a bit more character and I feel like it's a little more versatile. So I will very much consider keeping these in my personal collection. But until then, thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoy what you saw today, leave me a massive thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel because like I stated in the intro, we do have goals on this channel and our next big goal is 4,000 subscribers. And I do believe with the help of all of you, we can easily pass that milestone with flying colors. So thank you guys again for watching today. Without further ado, the on foot look of the Nike Hot Step Air Terra is coming right up. Stay safe, stay blessed, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.